Ladies and gentlemen, this youth poet epitomizes their poetry. Please welcome from Sacramento, California, 21-year-old The Lock Braithwaite. <laughs> So I was kicking it with this white girl. <laughs> and, and she say some shit to me like, blah, 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 nigga this. Whoopty, whoopty, whoop, nigga that. And I'm sitting back, honestly, half thinking with my dick, thinking that I ain't gonna get no ass if I call her ignorant bitch. So I relax, um, my man, this brother next to me is like, uh, if you around me, you better not say it at all. And I'm like, whew, thank God he said it because, you know, I was about to sell the whole race out for a booty call. And <laughs> she stomps out, pisses a motherfucker, wanting me to chase her. And me, you know, I'm feeling all black righteous now. I'm all like, yeah, whatever, peace. Assalamu alaikum, right? <laughs> a word used to exclude is now exclusively used by the excluded. And with it, excluding its original excluders who use the slang to now gain inclusion into the group for which that group wanted to be removed from American politics of race, complicated, and confusion. I mean, what is the rules? Because we all thought it was cool for J-Lo to say nigga just because she a member of another underprivileged group. I mean, we call our down-ass Caucasian partners my nigga after we nicknamed them white chocolate, consciously <laughs> making it popular through hip-hop. When it's obvious, we screaming, where my niggas, to a majority white audience. It's like a status, a symbol. Being a nigga is something to be earned, deserved, achieved, uh, a level to get to. Like, hey, <laughs> I'm a nigga. You can't tell me I'm not. I'm poor enough. I got hella baby mamas and my friends sell rocks. Yeah, I'm a nigga. Fuck you, I fail school. Europeans got me hating myself too. I'm disillusioned, disenfranchised. Society disrespects me, discriminated and hated. The media misrepresents me. I'm a nigga too. I lost my roots. No knowledge of self. I'm ignorant like you. And I guess it got nothing to do we we'll burnt churches, the burnt crosses, and lynch bodies, the bodies lying in boats, the ocean bottoms ain't got nothing to do with slaves and chains or shackles or cotton. You just gotta know how it is for niggas and do what niggas do. And then maybe one day, hey, all of us can be some niggas too. Mm -hmm.